police have fired tear gas at protesters on the Greek island of Kos, where locals rallied against the construction of a migrant facility. As you can see, tensions have been running high. Kos is a tourist hub that found itself on the front line of Europe's migrant crisis last year. Now locals fear the newcomers will spoil the island's tourism industry. Artie's Nikki Aaron followed the protest. Some 2,000 people have turned up to this protest on the island of Kos today. They're angered that a refugee registration centre will be opened on their island. We want them to come, pass by, make their papers and go wherever they want to go. Here is a tourist place. We have uh, people that come here for holidays. They can't stay together on the same place. Protesters have marched from the centre of Kos to here, which is where the refugee hotspot centre is due to be opened. <laughs> The crowds of protesters have dispersed slightly after riot police fired around six or seven rounds of tear gas into the crowds. The crowds, which include women, children, elderly people, and including journalists, are now riot police. They're not holding back. As soon as any protesters start to push forward, they are retaliating even more so. Nikki Aaron reporting there from Kos. Well, Athens has promised more migrant centres to help tackle the crisis. Meanwhile, with thousands of newcomers passing through Greece into the European continent daily, the EU has told Athens to impose stricter controls or face exclusion from the Schengen Free Travel Agreement.